Snap, right, drop back, pocket collapse, he's going to have to scramble. Now left side, dumps it off, Harrington, the tailback, came out of the backfield, makes the way past the 30, 35, 40, Rebels one defenders up 50, Chooks back, 45, he's got open, territory, 30, 25, 20, now back left side, they're not going to catch him, 10, 5, touchdown, Allen! What a play from Bo Harrington! A 77-yard touchdown catch! ties this game up pending the extra point. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football. We are life in football. Welcome to the Life and Football Podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this your co-host, Colin Moore. You know we loving life and enjoying football. We got a top-notch running back in the room. He goes by the name of Mr. Arrington, and he's doing his thing. He's one of the top running backs right now running for Allen University. And I'm telling y'all, man, he went number 27. He coming out of Polk County, but he a top-notch player that everybody need to be on notice about. Now, let me tell y'all one thing I noticed when I was looking at the film. He remind me of a Maurice Jones Drew. Small, compact, but he running tough and he running hard. But that's what I like to see in any running back. See, I'm a linebacker. And I always try to punish the running back. But when somebody running hard like that, I already know it's going to be a serious challenge. But without further ado... I'm going to go ahead and let Simo bring him on. How you doing, Bo? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good, man. It's a blessing to have you on, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's a blessing to be here. Hey, I got, I'm going to get right in it with you, man. We seen your clips. We seen you ripping it up game after game. I'm talking about, boy, you do it in the air and you do it on the ground. It ain't nothing you can't do on that field. So how did it feel being a true freshman coming out bowling at the college level? Uh, it feels good. It's just by the grace of God that I, I got there and I was able to get on the field. So it's just a blessing to be playing football. Yeah, I feel you on that, man. And, hey, you got to show love to God because, hey, that's where the talent come from. And he give you the mindset to do what you got to do. So with you starting as a freshman and you you and the quarterback was a starting as a freshman too, how did y'all guys pick? Allen University, like how that came up? Y'all went on visit together. Did y'all know each other before you came? We didn't. We didn't know each other at all. I knew of uh, David. He went to Tampa Bay Tech, but it's just really God because COVID happened. That was the the school that one that gave all of us a chance when everybody else left us out. So we all just picked Allen because that was the best opportunity for us. Now, Bo Harrington. That name sounds like a winner, like a champ. But I want to know who helped you to become that champ. How was it for you growing up, and who helped you to become the person that you are today? The person that helped me, without a doubt, is my father, uh, Patrick Harrington. He summers was rough. It was uh, going to the um, the groves every day, hot, 100 degrees, making me cry. I used to cry every day out in the groves. We were sprinting, doing everything you could think of. That's how I, I trained every every day. Either grows or we were at the house doing cone drills. So he's the person that helped me become who I am today right now. Now, see, with that being said, your father playing a great role, not just, you know, for his football, but that's a good role model too. Now, did he play any sports or, like, did he go to college or anything? Like, where did he get all his knowledge about working out and um, helping you from? He went to uh, the university, um, I mean, FAMU. He went to FAMU. So, uh, yeah, he played, he did kick returning, ride receive. He was he was actually uh, top in the nation at kick return yards at FAMU. So, I think he has a few records over there. So, that's where he got his knowledge from, and he brought it down to me and helped me. So pretty much, your daddy went the way, paved it, 
got it all good and set for you. And he said, look, I have me a son. We finna go to work. Did you did you actually want to play football? Or Because, like, in my neighborhood when I was growing up, it was so many ways that you can go outside and play. You can go play kickball, basketball, soccer, whatever it was, you can do it in the neighborhood. So you can get good at it, see what you're good at, and then, like, okay, this is what I really want to do. So when did you actually know that? Man, you know I'm nice in football. This is the route I want to go. Or did your daddy, like, just say right out the gate, hey, I'm finna train you, period, and then we'll let him go where he go? I think I think he, he never put me in the box. That's why that's why uh, I'm grateful for my dad. He, he always let me do what I wanted to do, but all my cousins around me were playing football, so – I always try to compete with them, and that's when I knew when I when I started to give them a little bit of hard time with they was about six or seven years older than me. So when I started giving them a hard time trying to guard me and trying to keep up with me, that's when I knew this is what I wanted to do, and that's how I did. Just rolled off in it, rolled just off. shaking the bacon, just <laughs> out there like a rabbit on him. Ba-da. I'm trying to nah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out though. How that schoolwork is at, at Allen, man. You you at the college level now. Nobody don't have to force you. They even know your mama ain't saying, babe, get up, time for class. Uh, get up, Bo. Then I say, get up. Ain't none of that no more. So how how you how you getting up and managing on your own like this? Uh, I get up there and manage because after practice and after schoolwork, I I go to the library every day from about seven to nine thirty. Cause we had practice at six in the morning, so I try to be asleep by ten thirty, so I get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. So I go to the library um, every day. I mean, every night, and do that, do that extra work, and do that work that I got left, so I get ahead of class. So I keep going. Now I know you, a young man, just really interested entering in the college world. What are your plans and what are your thoughts for a career after football? Like. What you planning on getting your degree in, so to say? I uh, plan on getting my degree in business management. And I, I already know what I want to do. I want to uh, open a couple of franchises and maybe even my own business uh, in Haines City because we don't really got a lot of – I want more food places in Haines City. I like gyros. I'm sure, I know y'all have gyros around here in Lakeland. So I want uh, I want a gyros down there, and we don't really have none of that. So I want to open a couple of franchises and maybe even my own thing one day. Now, with that being said, just say, is it anything you could put out towards a young man or even a young lady, like just seeing what you done been through and not going to college? Because a lot of us, once we get to that point, we like, oh, I could have probably did this different. Or, you know, you are being successful. You know, you're going to college, you're doing your homework. And like you're saying, you're putting in the hours of studying. So is it anything you can give a young person out there to inspire them to help them be successful just don't let anybody stop you let let you go through everything you you go through and just keep going no matter what anybody else say live your life because what what you're doing may may help you go all the way and not the other person you just have to do what you do don't let anybody put limits on you now boom i gotta get back on you boy Oh, I got to get back on you, boy. You doing your thing. I I didn't know what I wanted to be or what I wanted to do outside of football. I had no ideas, no clue, no direction. So I ended up looking like a person with no directions. You already know. You already know what you want to do and how you want to pursue it. Now, I like what you said. But see, me, if I ever get a chance, and Lord's willing, I do, if Raising Cane's, you ever – been to Raising Canes, the ever first time I ever went to it was I was in Louisiana and I was going to watch him play. He was at Alabama State and he was playing Southern. So we rolled down and they was like, hey, you want something to eat? I said, I don't know nothing to eat right here in Louisiana. Like only the other, but I said, I don't want nothing that I'm used to. Give me something new. So they say, let's go to Raising Canes. I was like, what's that? They say, chicken strips. Well, I like chicken anyway. So I'm like, let's get it. So I right, boom, we went in there. Boy, I ripped them chicken strips. Uh, so if I ever had a chance, that's what I'm getting. Like, what made you start thinking about what you wanted to be outside of football so early? It's just my my like I said, my dad. Uh, he still that inside me. He say, um, 
there there's gonna be one day where you have to put the cleats up so you need to have a plan b even if say i get hurt because it's possible i'm not gonna say it's not possible it's possible so he said you need to start thinking about what you want to do and me and my friends we used to come to uh winter haven just to get gyros almost every night so i'm saying i'm i'm tired of driving 30 minutes just to get food why why not have that in Haines city where we drive five minutes or a minute just to get the same thing so that's what that's what made me start thinking man i, I kind of want to do this because that ties in with business because you that's a franchise you can uh expand there another person's dream of having a bigger franchise so that's what i wanted to do now bo this is my last question for you what's your goals for allen university like for us grades um and what you want to do athletically for us any goals you want to reach Grades, I want to ha- maintain at least a 3.5 and over that, which I'm doing right now. So um, I'm glad to be doing that. And athletic-wise, I want to I wanna, uh, surpass that 1,000-yard goal and make Allen a winner, a winning program for the first time in this school history. We we got cut short a little bit by Edward Waters. So uh, I was I was not too happy about that. So, yeah, and this year I only had 964 yards. I was 37 yards away away from a thousand so that's what i want to do this man said he only had 900 some yard man that's bowling bowling <laughs> that's bowling trust me we saw you and you you on a great path man you doing good and just stay focused keep grinding keep doing what you're doing and i'm telling you, man god gonna bless you i'm telling y'all this is a person to look out for mr Bo. Harrington, he playing at Allen University. He wearing number 27, and he out there putting it down, baby. But I'm going to leave y'all how I always leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down, or else you will fall to the ground. This is the Life and Football Podcast. Catch you next time. You are now listening to the Life and Football Podcast. Check out the new website, lifeandfootball.com. Once again, the website is lifeandfootball.com. Thanks for listening. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life.